What's up, guys? Hey. Hey, Hannah Cakes. Welcome, hey, welcome. boo. How are you guys doing? Yo, girl, I missed you. It's been a minute. I know, right? I haven't seen her How for come I can't weeks? catch you when I'm in Toronto? Uh, <laughs> Let's not uh, go there. <laughs> Have your people called her people? Because yeah. that's uh, that's generally how she's oh, not right. Have My your bad. people call her people Yo, to not, set up no, an you're, appointment? You're I forgot her. Notice. Sometimes I forget her status. You know, no, not no, no. bad. My yeah, bad. Then, no, no, no. then know yourself. I'm gonna then make an yourself. appointment. My I'm bad. Still in my humble beginnings. Okay, <laughs> I still wait for you to call me whenever oh, you're in town. It's like that. I, I some, got stories. Someone got, got a new tang and then forget about our old friends. It's not like that. It's not like that. I tried to holler Hannah back in the days. See, and you she th- kind of thinking- looked at me. She was like, come back in three tax brackets. Okay. When, um, <laughs> when ta- the way your tax situation is set up. Let's go back. Like oh, a real life set really? back tell. First oh, of all, really? welcome to the Hannah Cake Show. Mm-hmm. Episode number, I don't even know. <laughs> know. <laughs> maybe seven, <laughs> maybe eight. You know what I'm But um, yeah, I have two beautiful guesses with me. Mm. <laughs> you, Stop it. One, one guess. This one is. <laughs> she's, Yo, I'm a host. She's a host. She's my. <laughs> like, like, hey, she's building. not even okay. a guest host. She's like my co host at this point, you <laughs> okay. know? Um, so let's. Uh, introduce uh, the mandem right there. Okay, the mandem. I like so, that reference. Yeah. Uh, very grammatically correct. Um, <laughs> I go by Robbie Hollywood. Yeah. A brand name like Pepsi. <laughs> Friends and family call me Supreme Commander, but I never told them to do that. It's just something that naturally occurred to them. Uh, <laughs> what else do you want to know, Hannah? Um, well, I want to know, like, what do you do? Um, you can put your Twitter handle okay. to your Twitter. Okay. Do you have a Twitter? Uh, actually, I don't even. Actually, know I don't. I don't tweet. I don't tweet that much. Like he has when an IG. He has. An I IG. do. I do have IG. Uh, mm-hmm. At Robbie Hollywood on IG. Um, he story the fuck up. He has a lot I of do, stories. I do, I do, I do story the fuck up because my life is goddamn amazing, and everybody should kind of have a little. Nigga has a goddamn. Porsche. Nigga hey, has a hey, Porsche. Listen, I just had hey, to say that. Say listen, a word. You pulled up in a Porsche. Y'all pulled yeah, up in a Porsche. Did, she did pull up in a Why would I happen to beef if I could just hop in a Porsche? Mm, 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 mm. Uh, yeah. So what I do, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Uh, I'm involved in everything from tech to finance. Oh, you goddamn. name it. Uh, I do, but my passion is entertaining. So I do stand-up comedy. I'm a writer uh, for film and TV. Uh, but obviously, the starving artist's life is not my thing because I have an outrageous lifestyle so that, that requires money to be able to handle that. So that's why I cannot be able to be on a full artist. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I'm just uh, that's- that guy. Oh, I'm glad I see you again. I haven't seen you in so long. Shame on you. Girl. I Shame want to you. tell Shame the people. I want to tell my people Shame how we that. met. Okay, go Can ahead. We do go, that? go ahead then. Hey, no this go is ahead then. saucy, bro. Go yeah. ahead then. Let's hear it. Um, there's this beautiful app called Tinder. <laughs> Tinder. For those who love it. Tinder. Uh, Say a word, you swipe right. I swipe right. <laughs> this guy <laughs> had a like he had a I I lift heavy things and I put them down for the purpose of fitness. You must uh, have had that Porsche on the profile. No, <laughs> no. Come on. Wow. No, nah, he had a Range Rover. Wow. I'm just I actually had a Range Rover at that he time. Had a that. So that's why I was in the lesser bracket. That's why she never my hollered bad, me. My now she's different. She's like, oh, he got a Porsche. Now, hold on now, big fella. Hold on I now. Had Let me holler back. I, no, I had a feeling he upgraded. So that's oh. why when he That's why she wanted me to go show. Like, hold on. You see... You seem like you're glowing a little more now. Your player. glow up <laughs> needs to be on my show cards. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Yeah. Do tell. But yeah, we uh, met down. Uh, well, we swiped right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's mm-hmm. true. You know what's so crazy? I just realized that our first date we went. Uh, oh, yeah. To Young and Finch at that sushi place. I know. Right where the shit went down. Yo, speaking of Yo, that, that's kind of like, crazy. That was, uh, oh, my God. I, I got so scared. Like, I just thought about that today. And it was actually around this time of the year now that I think about yeah. it. Yeah. Was that what, two years ago? It, was it two years ago? It was I last know. year. I feel no? Like I, no, no, it wasn't last year. It was definitely it, not. It was last not last year. No, no, it was not. Shit. Was Yo, you know what's crazy? Ago. I go jogging right around that corner. Like, yeah. I come down on Young. And Finch, I, I jog down Finch up to Young, and then I run up yeah. all around that neighborhood. That's where I used to stay. That That's used crazy. To be very tra- this is a tragedy, and I yeah. do want to say rest in peace to the fallen soldiers at this point. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just saw what was happening, and then like I was like, "Yo, I 
we chilled there. Yeah, yeah. like a couple of times. And you don't to live too far from there. No, no, no. I used to live, used or I used to, to have a moved. condo around there. Then I moved. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't leave. I didn't live that far from there. Yeah. Shit, it's crazy. that's so crazy. Yeah. But I don't want to go to the sad stuff. So okay. let's go back. You to were telling a story about how we met. Yeah. And you like acted some type of way. No. <laughs> Yo, this proves my point though. Like, what? you could find friends on Tinder, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> but my, my, po- my point of being on once Tinder. I had a debate yeah. with Touché. someone that you cannot have a friend on Tinder. Of course, I have bare Yo, friends. I have bare friends okay, on think, Tinder. Bare friends. I think I think the key is to be able to differentiate. But nobody goes on Tinder to make friends. It's when you drag them to the friend zone that you kind of gotta do the <laughs> you ain't got that's what. And you're like, okay, what am I? What am I really getting out of this? So after. <laughs> Hannah forcefully you- dragged me into the friend zone by my neck. Okay, let me tell you why. Okay, oh, shut up. Shut up. you got a reason why. Let me tell I, you. I, why. I never this, heard no, it. No, so, no, 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 no. so maybe, maybe this counts as like closure. Shut up, let this me is closure. <laughs> and I already told you about that. So this guy on a first date. Well, our real first date was like when you invited me to that comedy. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. doing a show. Yeah, yeah. But the yeah. The, the, the restaurant was like a whole right. like. Um, out of the blue like same day oh, thing oh yeah, you want to eat let's that. go because yeah. we lived in the same area right. so we went there and so technically that was our first date mm-hmm. but um so we a we laugh we had a good time yeah. and this guy is like okay so um i have a hotel like oh can we go get a hotel okay no 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 <laughs> hold on hold on hold on hold on what? stop no no hit the brakes hit the brakes this is what happened Red this flag. is what happened i told us like hey Swipe listen left. my aunt was actually visiting from africa Right? You remember that? Remember yeah, I told you that? You yeah, said your washer yeah. was being renovated. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. So you don't yeah. recall. You don't yeah. recall. It's yeah. okay. It's okay. See, it's okay. You, you see Hannah though? You see Hannah? She has so many She's people. She's exposing you. It's she okay. has so many people Just in her inbox. Go. There is no way she can be able to keep up. Come on. Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> oh, it makes sense. My it makes sense. Change. She's getting hollered at on the regular. So obviously she's not going to be able to keep up with all the reason and circumstances. No. No. You said your house was being renovated. No, 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 Your I washroom you, was being renovated. You, you, you came to my house. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, he ah, did, ah, man was, he did man say was his aunt right? was there, but to me, when someone says that oh. they have family member in their crib, it's called for I have a girl. Okay, who hurt so you? So that's why and I was why like, why are you punishing uh, me for the mistakes of other men? Th- I don't those know. are the I've things. I've been chilling with too many Nigerians. No, hey, you know what? You know Niger. what, girl? You know what, girl? You know better now. And you're not too you far. Be- you're not too far. You're not too far. Oh, no, Stop I'm the madness. I'm further east. I'm further east. That is <laughs> not, not here. Same. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. I got my papers. Whatever. Anyways. Logically. <laughs> anyways, um, right? and then uh, so we had fun, but uh, when we we still went to that fucking hotel, we uh, we oh, chilled, right? Yeah. So this what, and, and guess what was. Was I not a gentleman? Was, was I a not gentleman. a gentleman? Was a gentleman? I was a gentleman all the way 100%. Yeah, we yeah. had a great time. But we you know me, out. like, I felt, even though, like, we were having a good time, I'm like, yo, we're drinking, so I don't know what he's thinking, we're, what's going to happen, so I made plans with my cousin, my cousin came pick me wow. up right after. I don't know, I gave you some type of excuse, right? You did, that was yeah. a terrible thing, and then you admitted that to me, but see, this is the thing see? to me, because... Uh, I always come clean. No, no, it's true. Because to me, I have four sisters, right? Yeah. So when I go on a date with a woman, my goal always is, is what kind of date would I want my sister to have? True. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I like, and not only that, like we, we bonded on the fact that you were artistic. I was artistic too. So it, it was beyond, like, you know, obviously when you're so high, bro, you're like, mm, well, that's and we not, were funny. Nah, that was it, right? So then I got to know you a little bit. I was like, wow, this, this person is actually interesting. Yeah. So it became more than just the physical. So, because yeah. most of the time when you're on those, yeah, sites, it's that's just it. like, yeah. We, we all know what's she's up. A tick, but she's people a tick, like yeah. to pretend like they don't know what the real situation is, yeah. right? Yeah. So after I got to know you a little bit after talking nah, to nah, you. Nah, 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 nah. There's people like me that go on Tinder looking for real love. You know what I mean? You know? Uh, you know what, though? You, and those, and I know those, I'm not the are, only one. Yeah, yeah. A no, lot of people write on it? their profile. Uh, yeah? So you... A lot of people write on okay. their profile you like they're looking... Tinder but, uh, out of uh, the country I was never love? looking for some dick like come on now I no, was no, no, looking no. But, for but love listen, on listen, Tinder see, listen listen I, listen, I would <laughs> until appreciate that people, I don't until I hashtag we believe you no I'm serious though until I got we the memo you. until I got the memo that mm. Tinder was a smashing site let me ask you a question you know I mean? are you are you like those Absolutely. girls are you like those girls I that would take that would one take those Tinder, pictures no okay, never mind <laughs> <laughs> wow wow 
<laughs> are, you, are you having an awakening moment, right? Should we take a second to let you process what you're feeling? Is that what's happened? So let me ask you a question, though. You know a lot of those girls that would take those pictures were like, they're sitting on the edge of the sink. And they're just showing out the booty. Right, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. They would do that. They would take the picture and then they would write in the description, not looking for hooking up. I'm sorry. Uh, nah, you can, you you can follow me on Instagram. It's S A K with a Z. <laughs> and you'll see what kind of pictures I take. Yeah, right. So, so, so you understand <laughs> but, what I'm saying, though. But, like, it's confusing, though, because a lot of people you know, say the, that they don't, don't want to hook up. Sure. But sure. your, your pictures are saying, 100%. 100%. Fuck me in the park. I now. give that to you. Right? 100%. Okay, so so you understand like, where yeah, the confusion yeah, 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 could be able yeah, yeah. to come from, right? Okay, what does that have to do with me? Oh, no, what, the reason we're talking about yeah. it is man's you know, cocked I, up his body like. You know, <laughs> no, I, 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 I found you attractive, but you know what I mean. Okay. And you know, we we went out on a day, and then after a while, I got to know you. So, because usually, like to me, within thirty seconds, I know because look. We all know the drill, right? Yeah. Nobody's there to waste anybody's time mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Because yeah. to me, I'm a passionate man. Yeah. Right? So I happen to be six foot two. I'm black. I got a little money and all these type of things. So I do well with women. So my demands are a little bit higher. So if you cannot <laughs> entertain me. I have a question you cannot, for you, though. Yeah. Did you put that in the description on uh Tender six foot two. Oh no no no! I, I, uh, for, <laughs> I love babe. when men do no, that. No no no! no, no, no. I, 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 from the, I You're speaking of that. Anymore. They need to do that, right? I, I don't. I don't Trust have me. Tinder anymore. But like, not see, to short shame niggas. But like, come on now. By the way, so mm. I met a ting on Tinder. This is a funny <laughs> story. Okay. I met a ting on Tinder. I'm like, yo, this guy's that ting. You know when someone's cute <laughs> and nice yeah. and super like genuine and like super into you, there must be a problem. <laughs> wow. something must be wrong yeah so i'm here swiping and i look at his pictures I'm, I'm showing my friends i'm like yo he's cute my friends are like yo he's a ting i'm like nah something must be wrong i was trying to figure it out then i realized in his pictures i'm like but wait i'm not sure how tall he is guy. <laughs> like i couldn't you? really tell Who hurt how you? tall he was <laughs> okay excuse me that <laughs> that's Girl, a high requirement wait, at this point but wait but wait so we ended up meeting up at a bar and the man was wearing Timberland boots and he was still shorter than me. And then I was like, I was like, man, no. <laughs> but he was fine. Though. Man, no. He was cute. I think if you're that short, you need to state it in your, in, on your profile. Yeah. That's, that's not fair. Unless you're a Jewish especially, banker. Especially if you see, you see clearly I'm not your height. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You mm -hmm. have to state. Your size. But ladies, I'm, I'm going to tell am you I something. Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, yo, you're right. No, you're that's right. Because I would have been pissed. You know, I'm like 5'8", five 5'9". Five I don't want to like go on a blind date. Well, not a blind yo, date. Yo, man's shorter than me. Mine is 5'2", five 5'5". Five five. Let me ask you a question. Why With Tim's on. Why, why is height such a big importance for women? Because it's awkward. Like, I, it's, it's, it does, it's, I don't want to. No, but do you know it's, why? It's, a, it's you know bad for my back. It's bad for my I'm back. I'm not attracted to a short guy. You, but I, why are you not? I'm no why, offense. Why, do you know why Everybody you're not? Everybody has I want to look up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, you know why you're not I know why I'm guys. not. Why not? Because I, I feel safe with the taller man. And Why do you feel safe? Have you had Evolution. Could, evolution. Could you tell me why, Mister Therapist? You seem no, no, like you no, no, know. No, 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 I'm not a therapist. No, nah, but I'm just saying. About, it seems like yeah, you know. Because so because the key is to understanding why we want the things that we want. So the reason why you're attracted to tall men and most because the example of beauty was set by evolution, right? The reason why it was set by evolution is because taller, stronger men. Put your mouth like on the mic. Put your oh, mouth. <laughs> sorry, sorry. T taller, stronger men yeah. tended to be more likely to be able to provide for you and your seed because ten thousand like people don't understand, right? As humans, we think we're special, right? Because we got thumbs and the internet, and suddenly we think that we're special, but that's not true. We're still animals, still going through evolution. So evolution has programmed you now to look for men who are taller and more physically adept because 10,000 years ago, this thing that runs your life, your, your <laughs> hybrid brain, was set up to be able to look for that because it was a more inclined way to be able to provide for you and your mm -hmm. seed. A stronger that and bigger sense. man could be able to go out and hunt and feed you and your seed. And protect you And protect you, you kids, as right? well, right? Yeah. Yeah. But this is the, the, my theory. My theory is 200 years from now, 
that whole thing is going to change. The new standard for beauty when it comes to men is going to be the short, Geeky balding goal. Jewish guy who's running a bank because that is the new yeah. It's already form starting. Of it's already yeah. starting. Yeah. It already but that's started. not that doesn't apply no, to no, me. not to you, not yeah, to yeah, you, yeah, but yeah, I'm talking yeah. about 250 years down yeah, the road. Yeah, I hear you. But that, see, that when you when you understand sure. that though, when yeah. you meet a shorter man, when you understand that you're able to give him a chance because they may be cuz right has now money we don't, in his bank account. No, no, not only that. Right now we don't live in a world where you need a man to protect you from wildebeests. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't need that right now, but evolutionarily speaking you're pre-programmed to want that be- but you know i still believe that i want a man that's bigger than me in case someone wants okay. to come and like suppose someone run up, run, <laughs> runs up on this the yeah. fucking five foot man and i have to back him up guy and then i get me, knocked in my let face me do in the future, i've seen, I've in seen the tall future, guys get knocked the fuck you're right you're right, right? but I'm just, it's, I'm just not attracted. It's, right. it's, you're not, but you have to understand why you're not. Because once like you understand why you're not, then you're able shame? to deal with it in, 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 in accordance, right? Because most of the time people say, like, I'm attracted to that person. That's it. I don't, that's what my nature is, right? But when you understand why, when you understand why okay, that's Okay, I have another reasoning for mm-hmm. why I'm not attracted to short men. Mm-hmm. Suppose you guys are lying in the bed. And, like, you're I'm trying to lie on him. On nah, nah, nah. I'm size. lying on the man's chest. And my feet are past his, and his feet are directly <laughs> on mine, guy. Like, okay, let me give you an example. If, if Tom Cruise, if Tom Cruise walked up to you right now, if Tom Cruise walked up I'm to you sorry. right now, and he's I'm like, "Hey, sorry. Fuck no. short men, I'm sorry." Maybe Kevin Hart. There's a lot okay, of short Okay, let's say Kevin Hart, right? Too, let's say Kevin you know Hart. Know? Let's say Kevin Hart wasn't married, and he sees you in a club. He's doing a show in Toronto. He's not married. Not my and type. And he walks up to you, and he's like, "Not hey. my type." I, yeah, no. Girl, do you see the look type. on my face? No, no. Listen, no. five hundred. You don't have. You don't have faith in women. You, you, no, 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 you don't have faith that. in it's women. It's not that. Like, it's not. I don't have faith in women. I, like, I understand mm-hmm. human nature. Yeah. Two hundred and thirty million dollars is everybody's type. Do you understand what I'm Bro. saying? It's everybody's type. It doesn't yes. matter how short. Because you said, that's, you said that's 200, not million. Million. You could talk to another girl. Million. You could talk to another girl, but you can't talk to me. Kevin Hart walks in here, tries to chop me. That doesn't mean anything to me. Drake walks in here, disrespects me, and tries to chop me. No, that doesn't not, mean not anything you. to me. Let's say the man no, but I'm just trying to show you. To Money you. doesn't mean anything to me. So the man is short. You got the wrong light-skinned girl. You got I'm the wrong light-skinned girl. You got the wrong light-skinned girl. You got the wrong light-skinned girl. No, she I, I, ain't about that. She no, 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 it's that. not a question of having the wrong light skin girl. She obviously <laughs> she is immune to evolution, which is a whole entire different conversation at this point because she's saying that she's completely immune. No, she just immune. likes who she likes. That's it. Right? There Fair you enough. Know. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll leave it at that. There's a certain type of guy type. that can make her like, that can, like, she is attracted to mm. it instantly, right? Just like me. But see, attraction is not a question of hazard. That's, that's the thing. It's, it's people think that... <laughs> No, no, it's true. It's true. I attraction. Love your is, of words. No, no, it's true. Attraction is not a question of hazard or pulling a number out of a hat. Yeah. There is a reason why you are attracted to what you're attracted to. Yeah. There's, you, there's, there's, there's the, there's the male figure in your life, right. your father or right. whatever, who, someone that provided for you. That's unconscious, right? Right. And you get attracted. You could that could attract you to a certain type of man. Right. Um. But it's like you're trying to say money. No, no, no. It's, it's, a, it's a not major, I'm saying. The money is not everything, well. right? Because, see, everything in life is all about nature and nurture, right? Yeah. Nature is your evolutionary standpoint. A lot of, a lot of your traits, whether it be physical or mental, are inherited in, in, a, in a genetic standpoint. Okay. So that means they were given to you by your parents. And then the rest is, nat- uh, is nurture, meaning your environment. So let's say you live in an environment where tall men are the standard, Right, you tend to be more attracted to those type of men because it's that mix of nature and nurture, right? So, if in your environment, which is the fact, because in the world that we live in, you mm-hmm. know, if the taller you are, the more muscular you are, the more attractive you are on the yeah. longer plane. So, if that's what's been put forward as the model of attraction, yeah. you will tend to be attracted to that. But when you understand that, because this is the thing, though, the, the man that, because you will never know what it is like to be with the man that God has put here for you if you've never been with the one that he hasn't. Right? Okay, Dr. Right? Phil, so, let's go back to like we No, but I hear I hear what you're saying 100%. But see, what there's I'm saying is like here. the man that God has put here for you could be 5 6. Yeah. But because you have the standard that is embedded in you, you will never give him a chance when you meet him 
because you've already dealt the cards before but even the game starts. You if God door, knows me, he's not going to set me up with a 5-6 match. <laughs> <You know what? laughs> Yo, if he has my back, he's going to get me a 6-5, 6 nigga. You know what I like, Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Who the hell is this? <laughs> Jesus. You fucking up. This nigga's so short, he's closer to hell. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he so close to the center of gravity? This nigga sweats in the winter. I don't understand it. Yo, <laughs> anyways, that was crazy. Yeah, that's some deep shit. Yeah, though. I know. That's some deep shit. But yeah, um, going back to the Tinder. Uh, right. <laughs> but anyways, we had fun that first time. And then you invited me to your... Um, it was what a showcase. It? it was a national showcase. showcase. Acting yeah. showcase. Yeah. This guy invites me there, and then he invites another gal. Oh yeah. Another, another Tinder thing. Uh, no, 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 no. This girl, no, no, this girl, this girl, girl used to work for me in the past. I did explain that to you. Oh. You made a big deal out of it. I, you I didn't know. explain that to me. Oh, like, whoa, whoa, I used whoa, to wait, deal wait. Were I you used to deal with it. No, no, but like it's involved. A little bit. You were a little upset. No, I was not a little upset. I mean, like that's why you got into. To the friend night, zone, we huh? went to we still had a great night we, we had went a, out to the of club. course of course yeah. i'm just explaining why you you became you opened the door to the friend zone I at did, this I point did, you I know because okay. yeah. you're gonna bring your date and with a girl that you fucking with well and i like wasn't i wasn't together. fucking like, with her she honestly I, came were you down. planning to do like a threesome or something no I no, don't, no 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 i'm about that because it was like a like white girl so like i'm like yo that what? was the problem. <laughs> so let's address that for what it really was. What you were really upset about was the fact that she was a white girl. So what? this is what happened. No, 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 so, no. Don't tell my listeners no, no, no. that hold I on, have a problem on. with hold white on girl. On. I, got, <laughs> I got bare white it bitches, sounds yo. Like it the it sounds like it. No, no, so, no. This is what happened. So I invited her to the showcase. Then the day of the showcase, I got a call from one of my friends in Vancouver. And she's like, hey, listen, I'm coming down to the city. Uh, the person that I was supposed to stay with kind of flopped. Do you mind if I stay at your place for the weekend? So this girl, like, I knew her for a long time. She made me a lot of money working for me as a trader a long time ago. So obviously, I owe her the favor. So I'm for like, sure. okay, come through. 100. So if I wanted to pull some shit, I would have called you and been like, hey, the show is canceled, da 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 So you we knew, we knew what's up. But let me tell you what upset me about Hannah. You forgot. You, you forgot forget that Khaled, my best friend, yeah. was there. So Hannah finds it he very appropriate. He did, he did, but you know what though? You seem, you all seem to be getting close. No. Uh, he, ah, hey, he, listen, we, now that we're bringing I it up. I can't help it if guys fuck with me. Like, I, I can't. I, can. I have a nice personality. Right? I'm lit. You know, you are, your you friend are, you are, approached me. Yeah, you are you 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 are definitely lame. Did there I is no denying not, that. But you, but you I didn't smash though. I didn't smash though. Still, still, that's right, you did not. You know what? Have a cookie. Let's put that on have the record. A, have a cookie. I did not smash. Have a blue I ribbon. didn't smash the homie. I ain't smash the homie. <laughs> oh, but right. did, you forgot put, put that, that part where you smashed the LinkedIn. white girl. Okay, listen, this is what happened though, Hannah. You kind of could, you kind of caught a little bit of an attitude at that time, and you were like not I don't talking to me. Attitude. So you're trying to I say it was her that. fault why you smashed the white no, girl? No, no, no. Listen, fault and all these type of things. That's a concept created by <gasps> Yo, the white man to jokes, bring us down. Eh? Man's are jokes. Because <laughs> 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 we were you, all you, having you, a good time. No, no, no you, you can never blame anyone for anything. Cause see, that's how life works. Cause see, this but is the thing. you were. That's where you started. You're like, no, no. I never, I never, no, no. I never said attitude, and the white girl was right in my bed. So like, what you? Things gonna happen when, when you use when you when you use words like fault, it means that you somehow regret or okay, sometimes feel my bad. Let me take, to take out the fault. <laughs> you, right. She steered you in the, that direction. That's not true. That's not true. Because let me tell you something. Nobody makes anything. Anybody do anything. You got curved all the way to her pussy. No, this this is what happened. This is what <laughs> happened. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I have I difficulty made swallowing this, so watch what you say, fam. Oh, that's man, what she said. If I said, oh, I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if I said that's what I'm she drinking said, brandy. Hashtag feminism. Neat. Uh, hashtag hashtag me feminism. Uh, hashtag me too. Uh, like all these, don't all these great hashtags. Uh, but see, this is the thing. Like, I don't believe that anybody makes anybody do anything. Cause see, I did, I did the math. Cause see, at three o'clock in the morning. When it gets to 3 o'clock in the morning and people have been drinking and partying that. and all these type of things, yeah. and you get to that point where you have to make an executive decision, 
you weigh because see in in economics they call it weighing risk versus benefit. I love right. buying. Right. Yeah, so yeah. cakes what wasn't was, gonna smash. What was the risk? <laughs> she for sure gonna smash. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah <laughs> all night long, <laughs> all night long has been giving me the side eye. She's getting close to my best friend. So obviously I see I the never Yo, gave man, you the side eye. I never, I never gave hey, him the side no, eye. Hey, we listen, had a good you, you, time. We had a good time. We had a good time. I just. Had a vibe the where I'm not, I'm not smashing vibe. You know, I was just okay. a friendly so vibe. Go. So there you go. So obviously a man has But needs. then I explained to you, I'm like, yo, come on. And you already told me that you had needs. a thing with the girl. No, 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 no. I yes, said, you, I t- said, you said that way before. It's like, yeah, I mean, as, her used to deal. As an equal opportunity You never said nothing about business. Her, of course. No, no, no. <laughs> like, as an equal opportunity You had employer. a different transaction. Yo, where'd you right. find this okay. guy? <laughs> He's killing me, bro. <laughs> right. As an equal opportunity employer, the Christian thing to do was to obviously sleep with her. But, <laughs> right? so, okay, but like, Weinstein, but you need to chill. No, no, but, no, no, but like, regardless of anything, though, I did not. I'm calling I, you I Robbie Weinstein her. from no, now she, on. She honestly, like, she honestly showed up to the show as a question of circumstances. So therefore, I was a victim of circumstances. But you did not try to dig no, deep. No, you and find brought out her as a like plan B, but the plan B was chilling with plan A, just in case plan A was not like with that shit, you know? No, no, but see, first you of all, that means you weren't sure about Hannah. You're you like, yo, sure. see, she thing. seems Hannah, really nice. I, no, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, give, I didn't give that easy vibe. No, no, no. Like, you know? Hannah, and I, Hannah and I had chilled three times before. Because see, this is the thing. I two times. No, no. Yeah. Was, it, was it before that? Was that two times? Two times. <laughs> okay, okay. Two, two times. times. Two times. Two times. <laughs> two times plus one. Uh, <laughs> two plus two is four minus one is four yeah. minus. Chilling, uh, <laughs> chilling till like after midnight does not count yes, for a yes, second yes. day. But, but you know what? Don't, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, I actually appreciate it. Because to me, I'm one of those men who, believe it or not, I know sometimes when I say this, it comes off as pompous and all these type of things. But I, I do fairly well with women. But see, this is the one thing that I always look for. I'm a sucker for pillow talk. And the reason why I really liked you pillow is because talk. yeah, pillow talk is my drug. That's my drug. If you cannot entertain me after the sex, there is two things that happen. Uh, excuse me, hi. There is a, a Uber? there's a bus token and a bus token and a box of Cheerios. That's kind of disrespectful. There's a box of Cheerios. See, that's why my pum pum knew my own. She I'm, I'm, was I'm, not allowed. No, I'm joking, but the, the point that I'm trying to get across is if if you cannot stimulate me mentally, yeah. then. There is nothing beyond the sex. And if there is nothing beyond the sex, I tend to come off as rude. Yeah. And with you, I was like, holy fuck, like this girl is cool as shit. You are a writer and I'm a writer and there's all these kind of things. And like you weren't boring, which, by the way, most women are. (laughs) Listen, (laughs) I have four sisters and a mom. I love women to death. But let me tell you something. (laughs) Hey, most of them are not as entertaining as you think. Uh, (laughs) So when you find that person that kind of stimulates you mentally, you're like, oh, my God, like, this is great. So I wasn't in a rush. But at the same time, I, uh, yeah. I have needs that have to be looked after. So I, I, I knew. You know, I, but you know, I no, can't, let, let I can. this be a lesson. Let mm-hmm. this be a lesson. If you were actually trying to hook up with her, like on a serious tip, this is a lesson to you for the future. Be patient. If you would have just been patient that night, not fuck with the white girl and Yo, been like, fuck okay, with her the next day. Like, you, you know what I mean? Wait. She might have been your ting right. She might be your girl right now. You know what? This though, is just that, a life no, no, lesson. Honor, honor, you know what? Though? This is <laughs> that unfair. I see. That this is unfair to towards. This is he un- found the, his own key to the friend zone at this point, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm gonna no, no, take hold on, hold on. it right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take my key. The second time we hung out, knock knock. Okay, I'm here. You just have to give him a look. No, no. Let me let me let me let me tell you something. The second time we hung out, the second time we hung out, I actually wanted. To show her how far out of my way I was willing to go out for her, I made you breakfast. But you you're that? not I called you around, like, hey, can I make you breakfast? Oh, so that's a panty you're drop. Not, that's no, a, no, 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 it's not that. But see, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say, though, it's like, very unfair that towards That was the men. third time. No, that was the that, second time. No, the second time was with the girl. The third time was... The, the second time we chilled I think you need when to work you brought on your me patience. to the showcase. Dude. Right. You, then we met with uh, Khalid. Yeah. And then... Yeah, and then we chilled like until like X in the morning. Right. And then the next day that we chilled again, and that's when you made breakfast. But, but see, you the, already the, opened the door for the friendship shit. No, like, no, but see, but this is what this is what I'm trying to get at. Is like it's like, very Oh, my friend is making the, the me. The way breakfast. the way Yay. the whole dating spectrum is set up is very unfair towards men. Nah, you're contradicting yourself because no, no, you not. said 
you said that you wanted more with her. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you say that on the second date, mm-hmm. you noticed that she was throwing shades and she wasn't going to smash, so you went and smashed with the white girl. On the same day. On the same day. was looking for no, 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 something. No, no, no. On the that. same I not, day. No, no, I, I did not say that. Because, see, what I said was, but see, this is the thing. Still, at the end of the day, though, I still put my best foot forward. And towards that moment. Yeah, but so that means on the second day, she should have smashed. Is what you're saying. But let me ask you a question. Let's see, this is the thing, right? And, and this is this is always where it comes into question when it comes to the dating world between men and women. Where, for example, you and I go on a date, right? Yeah, I can't smash. And we go out for dinner, and the bell comes. You don't even look at it. You're like, no, he has it. Like, obviously, I, can, I cannot even. <laughs> I cannot even. Like, he has it. <laughs> what? That, uh, what? What is that, Bill? How do you spell that? I don't know. Uh, right? <laughs> but somewhere, somehow, somewhere, somehow, if if I have any expectations of sex, I'm a terrible human being. I'm an asshole. I'm an ancient noggle. Uh, but th- that double there's standard a, is a difference because between expectation and like going through it. But see, but see, this is the thing, though. This is the thing is we all pretend you couldn't even wait. L- l- no, 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 hold on, hold on. No, but see, this is the thing. You couldn't we even all... wait for day three. Day three, like at least one, two, three. You might have smashed. <laughs> you yeah. might have smashed. Turn the turn time. That's what I'm trying to show you. But see, that is where that is where it becomes unfair, right? We, we go on a first date. I'm a gentleman. We are in the hotel. I don't try anything. Nah, it's right? no, no, fair. Hold on, hold on. It's fair. No. You're, you're I didn't, give you, I didn't me, give you enough no time disrespect, but you're being just but, but a you know little why, bit selfish. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Let, let, you want me to I can you? tell what kind of nigger you are. You probably get girls. You, you probably smash on the first date. Because if you're expecting it on the second yeah, date, just because no, no, you paid for it. dinner and you no, made no, a record or whatever the case. He's a black man tall and he makes a little bit of money. I'm sorry. That's not it. Do you want me to tell you why? this is the way that it is i'll give you an example okay i was talking to my sisters the other day right and i walk into a conversation i'm sipping my tea walking by and the, all the four of them are in a room doing like oh my god all men are dogs and assholes i'm like <laughs> excuse me I, like what did you just say like let me let me go into this with you let me tell you why things are the way that they are let me tell you what the problem is here the problem is women are trying to act, like live and act as if you were still dependent on men, but you still want to be independent. Let me let me address this point. Let me actually get to it. The way the way that things are now did not just happen overnight. There was an evolution of how things happen. Why do men expect to have sex on the first date? Because that was never the fact for a long time. But let me tell you how it happened. What? There it used to be a, like that. No, no, no. Not all the time. There used to be a time where a man could not take a woman on a first date unless you shook his father's hand. You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. As a man, in order for you to smash, you used to be required to have land True. and be married and be able to have everything to provide. But You're how right. Did, how Shit did it changed. change? How did it change? Let me tell you when it changed. Right? This one, it changed. Fast forward to 1945. World War II comes around. All men are dragged to war. Now suddenly women in mass, mass, mass numbers are being put into the workforce, Workforce, right? Now suddenly women are now able to provide for themselves. And they look around, they're like, we don't need these nuggles to be able to live. I'm I'm an independent woman. I'm a boss (laughs) lady, right? (laughs) Now men come back from war. Suddenly now women are fucking out of spite. Right? They're like, oh, now we are independent sexual being. We can fuck whoever we want. It's, it's simple economics. Yes, Supply but you can't demand. put all women in no, that No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hear First me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Let me address this point, and then you can go ahead and all reply. Right. True. Right? So, so now suddenly, suddenly now, there is this sexual evolution thing that happened. Women, women are like, you know what? We're no longer the object of men. We can fuck whoever we want, when we want to. You don't tell us what to do. We can fuck each other. Okay, but see, now that becomes simple economics. But you're fucking with a certain group of women. No, 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 that's, no, no, that's no, no, the no, no, problem I'm, I'm, here. No, I'm, 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 again, I'm, I'm addressing a general point here, right? You, you may be... A, you may be out of the out of the spectrum. I'm not talking what? about me personally. No, no, I know you're not talking about you personally. I'm talking about you women. Do, but, but, you but, do but have a point. You no, do no, have no, a no. point. We understand the evolution. No, no, hold on. Let, let me, no, no, let me let me address this so you guys can actually be have all the facts so you can actually reply to all the facts, <laughs> right? So now suddenly this is what happens. It's simple economics, supply and demand. Now suddenly there is there suddenly the supply of pussy, quote unquote, goes up and the demand goes down. For example, ten thousand years ago. 
the requirements to be a man, yeah. to be a man to be able to get a woman, your requirements was slay a wildebeest and feed your offspring. Now, if you ask a girl, what do you look for in a woman? You know what they say? A good sense of humor. A nice smile. But Somebody who will listen to me. But, but, but you know what, what that does, today. though? It, it, it watered down the demand. So now men feel like we no longer have to go out of our way in order to get women. Now, instead of having land and a farm to provide for that woman, now all I need is a good sense of fucking yeah, humor. Yeah, but wait, you, but now, you, understand what's you going with on? all this knowledge, you should know how to get a girl like Hannah. No, no, no. I understand that. I understand it, but I'm not immune. What happened? I'm not immune. <laughs> I know, but see, this is the thing. I may understand it, but I'm not immune to evolution. Mm-hmm. I'm not immune to evolution. Those things still do happen. So yeah. now what happens in this case? What happens in this case now, you live in a world where literally laws and rules are geared towards women. Do you know why it's a women's world now? Because women vote at a much higher rate than men do. That's why divorce laws, for example, are 10,000 times geared towards women because these politicians that need your vote are going to gear the laws towards what you want. Mm -hmm. You understand? And that's why we live in a world that we do. Now, when you have women now being like, if I go on a date with a man and doesn't pay the bill, Fuck him. What does that mean? If you're going to date and I pay for the bill, I am showcasing myself as a provider. Right? I think, I so think, if I, I live out to my part, you should be able to live out to yours. It all down to you're fucking with the wrong women. No, that's that's a way to put it, what you said. But we're in 2018 now. Like, come See, on now. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Now, because humans have this thing where suddenly because we have iPads and thumbs and fucking technology, we think we're special. At the end of the day, all we are, all of us right now, pretending like we know what the fuck we're doing, we're just primates spinning through space at 1,200 miles an hour. That's, That's all we are, right? That's a fact. So when you lose sight of that and you think that you're special, you live in this world where there's all this obscurantism where you do not understand really what's going on. So does And that's this, why people does, live... So does this all excuse why you treated Hannah the way you did? No, no, no. But see, you're, you're thinking that I treated no. Hannah wrong. I, I, right? I know you did. But, but see, this is the thing. I could not have done any better because that's the world that we live in. Again. Nah, nah, nah. Don't nah, blame nah, nah, evolution nah, nah, nah. Nah, and the that's whatever you got it for, twisted. for your actions right that's now. That's how you got it twisted. This guy's still it's us. like if I was going to say right now because where the world is going right now, I'm just fucking for money or I'm just doing this and Nah. I'll give you an example. The okay. world nah. is ending. No, no, I just no, want no, some. No, no. They let, have let, a lot of knowledge. No, no, let me give you a female <laughs> but you're, example. You're doing it backwards. No, let me give you a female example. I'm like doing it backwards. You're saying a life ago. is short. Let's fuck. No, no, hold on. Hold on. Let, here it is. Up. A year and a half ago, I'm on a date with a girl, right? And we're talking, and she, she's like, um, you know, at the end of the day, I just kind of like want a man that can take care of me, and I want to give him a good home. I want to raise his kids. I want to do this and all that. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Wait a minute. Let me actually test how convinced of your beliefs that you actually are. So I'm like, hey, honestly, to me personally, I'm more attracted to men. Uh, to, sorry, to women. <laughs> pause. Ooh. Pause. Yeah. Pause. Hold on, hold on. Are you trying I'm to like, come out on uh, my Hannah uh, 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 <laughs> Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys have that one. I'm going to let you guys have that one. Next. <laughs> So we can carry on, right? All right, do it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm attracted to women who are who got their own, who are actually going after their dreams and so on and so forth. Immediately, her language completely changes, right? She's like, you know what? At the end of the day, I kind of like want to be with a man. I can help him build his business and, and so on and so forth. But see, this, this is where the change happened. We live in a world now where in 1950, if you walked up to another woman and you're like, you know what? I'm a boss, bitch. I don't need anything. I'm a queen. Da, da, da. They will look at you like a dog looking at a spoon. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean you don't need a man? Now, we live in a world where if as a woman, you tell another woman that you want to depend on a man, you looked at as weak. Mm-hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, as, as a woman, you have to deal with 500 years of evolution all the way to 2015, 16, when both bitches started coming around. Now, you're dealing with these conflicting emotions. Where there's a big side of you that says, hey, look for a provider. Look for a man that can give you everything. But you also got to be a boss bitch. Now, when you have conflicting emotions, nothing works out. That's when people find themselves in these positions where they're like, oh, my God. Girls, I don't know what's going on with my life. Girls want to be a boss bitch and don't want to spend their own money. That's all. 
that's all. But see, let, let's address <laughs> let's address the facts for what they are because unless we want to uh, have more money by spending keep, your money. No, but see, if we keep living in this world where we'll pretend like things are not what they are, nothing will ever work. That's why fifty two percent of man, of all marriages end in divorce. That's why you, you gotta find saying? yourself a good woman. Yeah, you, you know, there's a lot of them out there. You know, you just don't fuck the same <laughs> another girl on the same Mazel fucking date. Mazel like, Mazel damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mazel tov. Okay. That's, so, that's so simple. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wait 24 <laughs> hours. Like, right? <laughs> yeah. Hannah's a good woman. You <laughs> fucked up. It's like you, you really fucked up, bro. It but is he, what it is. But you and, know, and my word of advice to you is just a little bit of patience, because I've been in a situation like that before. You know. Mm-hmm. There was a guy there. He he tried to sweep me off my feet, whatever, blah blah blah. But I wasn't quick enough. Like I, he he noticed he was a little impatient. He's noticed that I wasn't gonna smash that night. Mm-hmm. He ended up going to talk to the next catty and smashing. And then I was like, okay, well I'm done with this guy. <laughs> yeah. Next day he tries to call me. I'm like, yo, are you dumb? Mm-hmm. Like, but see, that's it's where the all about comes patience. In. It's you look at him as. You know, him either being inferior or no. being not understanding. Uh, for no, I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. Right. I don't look at him like that at all. I was just, Guys, I just, I just met him. You, you spent two days with this girl. I just met him mm-hmm. and I'm trying to see what he's about. We go out, blah, yeah. blah, blah. He's trying to smash. I'm like, whoa, like uh, I yeah. just met you. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't having it. So he went and smashed the next girl. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's totally cool. But, but that's not what I'm but, about. But, but, but like, let me ask you a question. Do you empathize? Not understand. Do you empathize? I'm not mad at him. That. I'm not mad at him or anything. No, you're not mad. But do obviously, you empathize? He, I do empathize because he's not looking for a girl. He's looking to smash. So if she empathizes with you, it's that you were looking to smash. You weren't looking for a girl. No, look, look, look. You guys are talking for me. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying you told me you were on a date. Technically, we were on a date. And you brought a we, girl we that had, you smashed. Okay. I smashed that <laughs> same night we were together. See, so I, let me ask you a question. You can smash was whoever I, was I you acting, want. Was I, I don't acting, need to know that. I and I, I don't her? need to chill with the girl that you smashed. No, but, but like, was I was I acting close we to dating. her? Was I acting close to her, or did I did I seem like I was disrespecting you? What the, during no, the time no, no, that doesn't no, matter. Right? No, that that's doesn't matter. But you need to understand that we all had fun. We all you brought this girl on a date. You noticed that she wasn't going to smash. She was giving you a little attitude. Why? Because she knew already that you already smashed that white girl. And maybe you were giving her some kind of attention that Yeah, she you should not like, tell your date that you, you smashed the I girl mean? that you're so, telling. So, see, I that's to why. Nah, but you yeah. have to listen, too. That's mm-hmm. why she did her own thing. And you didn't end up hooking up with her. And you ended up, on top of that, you ended up hooking up with the white girl that night. So mm-hmm. you need to understand what you did and admit to what you did. Oh, no, okay. I do. I do. I, but see, this is the thing. Let me tell you why Don't I told her. Don't try and her. fight me, it. No, just no, say, I'm, not, I'm not fighting it at all. Say, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, this no, episode no, no, no. is see, not gang on Ravi here. This is not gang on Ravi here. I'm sorry. Anessa, no, 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 no. We're chilling. We're chilling. No, no, we're, no, chilling. No, we're chilling. No, we're chilling here. No, no, guys. We had a good time. These type of conversations are the conversations that change the narrative. These are important conversations to be had. Because these have to be had. Well, as men and women, we can honestly speak to each other as to what is going on so we can actually fix the problems, right? Because we live in this world where there is all these status quos that are put into place, but, and we're all obligated to follow through to them, but nobody knows why they're actually doing it. And until we figure that out, it's going to be the same vicious circle over and over. you can have that conversation on that second over. date. Sorry? You, you can't have that communication. You were very open. There's certain things you don't say mm-hmm. on the second date, right? Mm-hmm. Or do. Mm-hmm. Um, like, what, 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 what was the problem was we were chilling with this girl mm-hmm. that you invited on our f- second date. Was it second or third? I well, like he, it was the second Even date. Even if it was the third, it doesn't matter. No, but whatever. We met okay. online. We don't know each other that much. Mm-hmm. When you meet someone online, you're trying to get to know them. So mm-hmm. first date, second date, it's kind of like new. Mm-hmm. But it was the second date. You already had like someone with us. Mm-hmm. And that same someone, you told me that y- you guys had a thing. Mm-hmm. And you told me the next day that you got smashed that night. Mm-hmm. So you can't tell your date that you barely know, that you're trying to get to know and you like, mm-hmm. that you smashed a girl that you, we were both chilling with. 
But see, at the same where, time, see, on the second where, day. That is where women have these very conflicting needs. You need needs. to let go well, the women and the this and that. No, 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 If it was three months later or two weeks later, you need to deal with this situation. You don't want to know that shit. Front. But let me let me tell you why I told you. Because all this, that you're like, I'm chilling me, you, my homeboy, and me and my homeboy used to fuck. And then, I'm like, oh, I'm not trying to fuck you, I'm fucking him. Let me tell you why I told you. Because a long time ago, like about three years ago, I found Buddhism, right? And the one, it's true. It's, it sounds fucking. Yo, man, is killing me. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but like, this is the thing that you learn when you approach Buddhism: live your truth, so nobody can hold it against you. Oh, yeah. The reason why I was extremely upfront about it right off the bat because I don't want it to come back two years down the road when you and I are now on. But this why did it plan. happen? Is no, no, is no, no. the first and, question. And, 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 and let me and let me tell you why. It happened. What were you looking for with Hannah? Be honest. No, no I'll I'll, t- I'll tell you the truth. I will tell you the truth. Right. So. I if, feel like we're I in court right now. No, 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 no. It's okay. You were, you were, these, these no, you were comfortable to be to enough had. to tell no, no, me that. Let, let, let me tell and you something. We were these friends. are important conversations to be had. Because see, to me, I'm one of those people who are like, hey, listen, I can no longer pretend to be something that I'm not because if I pretend, then later on down the road, everything is going to fall apart. Right. So I want you to see this. So this is what I want. This is what I want. So what were you looking see. with? Because see, this is the thing. The girl, the girl, when, it, when she came in a picture at first, it was her calling me at the airport being like, hey, the person that was supposed to stay with flopped. Here I am. Can I stay with you? Fantastic. Now I'm no, no, starting on, hold on, hold on. to question that story. No, no, no. Hear me out. No, no. It's true. It's true. <laughs> like, you were there. She told I'm you. starting to question Look, even that the girl story. Told her this. Well. No, no, even the girl told her this, That's right? Yeah. True. Now, this is what happens, right? If, uh, if I wanted to sleep with a girl and still be able to finesse Hannah, I could have been like, hey, listen, the show is canceled, Right? I could have hung out with homegirl, did my thing. The next day she comes over, she has no idea what the hell is going on. Boom, I handle my business. That would have right? been better. No, no, but I could, I could have done that. Yeah, right? you could have done if, that. If and, I and maybe the next lie. day you would have spoke to Hannah and it would have right. been cool. But see, if that's, I, that's, but see, this is the thing though. I don't want to lie to her. I don't want to lie to her because I invited homegirl and I, invent, I invited Hannah at the same time because I knew who I was chilling with. Homegirl knows what the situation was. She had been living in Vancouver for three, four years. We, ha- we hadn't seen each other for a couple, like a year or two so it wasn't like that right but see this is what happened all the way through the night right due to communication issues obviously hannah is not very happy about the fact that this is happening she felt slightly disrespected which i understand i would be too i was i not would that be too vocal about it you no, no, you, like weren't. no you weren't no you weren't no you, you weren't I was because bitter we chilled, betty we, no, no, i was no, bitter no, no, anything you, you never even mentioned it the 10,000 times after when we chilled. Yeah. Right? So course. you never even mentioned it. No. Right? Because she already had her mind set up. This man is friends on done and done. Let no, me just... he opened. He felt like he was comfortable enough to communicate that he he, he smashed the girl that we were chilling with so and he smashed again. It's like, but, oh. But you know why? So though? we homies at this point. That's right. no, no, <laughs> we but homies. But you know why? Like, we homies. No, but, you, no, no, but you know why? <laughs> like, hold it down. But you know why? It. You know what? It's because I actually liked you. Yeah. Because I know how these things work. Yeah. yeah right? But two if years, you like two, someone, as a friend, if you like someone and you're dating someone, because you were dating her, you guys went on two dates. It's mm-hmm. Double standard. Because I cannot. You're not do gonna that. smash the first girl that shows up in your bed, guy. Like, if you liked her, you would have respected her enough to be like, you know what? This girl, uh, this white girl, needs my help. I'll help her. I'll tell her, you know what? I'm actually dating someone. Mm-hmm. Sorry. But see, that's, if, you, if you actually that's believe that's the interest. truth, you live in an unreal world. Because let me tell you what the real world is with men. Men are only as faithful as their options. If you don't believe anything but other than that, you're wrong. That's but that's, that's you. You're wrong. You're right. That's you. No, though. it's not just me. It's, that's all, you. it's all men. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you this. All if men. you believe this, your life will be much easier. Right, Chris? I, I, I guarantee right? you this. <laughs> men are only as faithful as their options. That's the end of the He's movie. His if you, <laughs> no, no, I, no, I see you. No, no, I, I can address that. I can address that. I actually had a talk. I actually had I'll a give talk. it to you. That's. I guess that's your type of man. No, no, no it's, not, it's, not, it's not my type of man. I believe in men. I believe in men. I believe there's a lot of good and you out will there? constantly be disappointed. It, you're going to live a life no, of constant I'm gonna disappointment. Tell you, I'm not, not to let disappoint me tell you, you, but you sometimes live in truth. La La Land. It is the truth. Ain't shit. But you who, know what I mean? But, 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 no, no, but see, I don't know. Like like no, no, but see, this is the thing. See, that's where the problem comes in. There's a lot of niggas that are fuckboys. There's a lot of niggas that fuck around. But see, that's where the problem comes in. But there is a lot of good men out there. I'm sorry. Do you agree that what he did was a fuckboy move? No, no, no. That's a fuckboy move. And I don't fuck with fuckboys. And that is 
where and that is where the, and that is boys. where the problem comes in. It's because when you, we use words like fuck boys and ain't shit nigger, I said we fuck are, boy move. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are actually ignoring what the true problem and is. And when you use me, words me, as bitches and hoes, it's the same I, thing. I, I never uh, did you hear me? Because if I, I'm just saying, because if I would have smashed his homie, right. it would have been I, a different right. story. Let me let me tell you why. I'm not calling you a fuck boy. I'm saying that was a fuck boy. Let me tell you why men are the way that they are. Okay. Monogamy itself, as a concept, is anti-evolution. That's what. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain. Can I tell, you, you, tell, tell you something? Me. Can I tell you something? Right. That's for you. No, no, hold on. Let me you explain it. You can speak for yourself it. and okay. all the let me, men let me, okay. that are like on, you. Let me, you can speak for all of those niggas. You can speak for all those niggas. I hear you. But I know I you. that. Okay. There is but, good but men me, out let there. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you where my thinking comes from. It, it's not a question of good or bad man. It's not a question of good or bad man. Let me tell you how this thing was set up. Ten thousand years ago, <laughs> it's right? about no, no, righteous no, no, men. No. There's a lot of righteous this men out there. Let me tell you that. Ten thousand years Jeremy ago, I, 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 will, one I, will, I will address. Time, I will address the righteous men. I will address the faithful man too. You're right. They are there, but they are there for reasons I that history. I feel like are beyond your uh, your your grasp. Because you think they're faithful for the wrong reasons. Let me, I will tell you why men are faithful. Why some of them are faithful. They are faithful men. You're right. But it's not because of anything other than self-interest. And I will explain that. I will explain that, okay? <laughs> 10,000 years ago, right, when the first homo sapiens started walking. No, no, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me address this. Like, I, I, this is actually an important conversation to be able to be had. And I'm yeah. glad that I'm having it with you guys because you guys are smart and I actually care about your opinion. Of course. So I actually want to address this, right? Yes. 10,000 years ago, when the first homo sapiens started walking around, as people were something called a polygynous society, Meaning that one man could have multiple wives. Yes, 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 yes. But this, no, no, this, let me finish, this is, sister. This sister, is sister. No, no, hold on, hold on. Irrelevant. Oh, oh, no, no, I can tell you let why. Me, no, let me address it. Let me address this. Let me address this, and then you can go ahead and actually address me based on all the facts that I've given you. Okay. All right. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. Can I get a refill? Because I'm kind of. you should. I'm kind of tripping over here. Right. I need a refill. We're almost at one hour. I just want to let you know. Okay. So ten thousand years ago. Took over my damn show. Thank you very much. So 10,000 years ago, when the first homo sapiens started walking the face of this earth, we were a polygynous society because it was evolutionarily, um, evolutionarily beneficial for even women to be able to do that. Because at that there time... There was not enough niggas. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on no, no. It was not a question of enough niggas. There was so no, women, there was you're no telling me that laws. women were no. allowed to sleep with multiple men? No, 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 no. no. Women, even women wanted to... It's, it was much more advantageous, evolutionarily speaking, to be the fifth wife to a strong man than to be the only wife to a weaker man. Because as a man, your requirements were much higher. People were not going to Loblaws to get fucking groceries. You understand? You had to literally kill a fucking wildebeest in order to be able to feed your family and your seed. Yeah. We right? Know. We it know. was not until 2,000 years ago with the evolution of the actual Christian church in Europe the monogamy came around. But monogamy did not come around because people were like, oh my God, everybody should have one wife. No, this is when it became a problem. It became a problem when women were marrying stronger men and weaker men nah. were moving. No, no, hold on, hold on, hear me out. Weaker men were moving out of the, their villages to go find wives elsewhere. Suddenly the rich are like, whoa, that's a problem. There is not enough people to pay taxes or fight the wars. So how, what do we do? They created the system where there was one man and one wife and they packaged it into this nice little package that said, Jesus wants you to do this. You see what I'm saying? So now suddenly you have 10,000 years of evolution. And let me tell you something. Women are more sexually selective than men for one reason and one reason only. The return on investment on sex is much more advantageous towards men than it is towards women. As a man, if I go out there and I have sex with 100 women over the course of a year, there is a chance I will have 100 babies. If you go out there tomorrow and you have sex with 100 men over the course of the same year, you can only have one baby. Already in the numbers, that's already done for. But see, this is the most important reason. Evolution has geared you to be more sexually selective because women carry the seed. See, there was a time where giving birth, 60% of women died in childbirth. There is nothing that you do today that there is a 60% chance that you will die doing it. You understand? Like back in the days, there was no going to Sunnybrook. You will hold on to a fucking tree and squeeze that baby out and watch out for a fucking dinosaur running up on you just to make sure that you're giving birth. So... 
even if you look in species where the male actually carries the seed, like seahorses, seahorse males are more sexually selective than the females because for me, all that is required in order to give birth is a teaspoon worth of fucking sperm. For you, is nine months of fucking pregnancy plus labor. So therefore, evolution has conditioned you to be more sexually selective. I as don't a have a rebuttal because my one name lost theory me. in life. Yeah, that's one theory in life. That's your point of view. In <laughs> yeah, life. he's it's hard not with the view, arguments. Fine. He has to go that far so he can lose that, so we can't even rebuttal. Right? No, no, I'm, like, not, I'm not uh, losing you guys. Are you guys and, do you guys talk about present? We're talking about right now. You talk about 10,000 years ago and but then see, like so thing, on though. and so forth. See, but see, do the thing. You don't realize you don't realize that you my have that attention, same there's men that, My attention spam does not go that fucking long. And that's what I was trying to get at. There's men that don't believe. There's men that don't believe in monogamy. You want me to tell you who are the men that are faithful? You know how men become faithful? I'll tell you one thing. Please Men become tell them to faithful. DM me. Okay, in the fir- in the first year, uh, I, you guys, I don't know what. Yeah. Oh, shit. So first year of uh, um uh okay first year of university in psychology class they teach you something called the Maslow's pyramid of needs. Yes. Okay. So the Maslow's pyramid of needs initiates what are the needs of a human being. So at the bottom oh. of the pyramid, those are the most important needs. At the top, those are the more less important, but they're still very important. Okay. Yeah, like mm-hmm. on so the top, this is water. Like um, so at the at thirst, the bottom at the food. at the bottom of the pyramid is things like food and security. Oh, right. At the so you Not cannot bad. go after your goals of becoming rich unless you you have food in your but stomach. But who says right? who, food, who made up sleep. these laws? Who no, what, what are these laws? No, no. no think about it. These think laws about, are for from who? No, no. It, it applies to everybody. Let me. But ask what you, is this? Who made these laws? Your university. No, 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 it's not my university. Think about it this way. Would I want to understand here? where these laws okay, come l- from. Let me ask you a question. Would you be here doing this podcast if you're homeless? If you had nowhere to live, if you had, if you had to make sure that you have, food and in I was front, invited, sure, it, it, why it, not? No, but I'm it's not about, about you, no, the reason you why you showed about up. Your vital needs, like, like your vital you have needs, to already met. Your vi- your you have vital clothes needs. on your back. You have a roof over your head. You That's ate. why you can afford to be able to sit yeah. here. Yeah. Okay, right? Somebody who does not have the luxury of being able to have what you already have cannot be here. So it's always about levels, right? So for example, at the bottom is is food and shelter. On top of that is security. If you are not secure where you are, if you know somebody was coming to kill you, you're not going to be here this comfortable arguing with my dumb ass, right? Right. And then on top of that is recognition. Recognition means like, you know, you want to feel like your life matters. And on top of that, which is the top of the pyramid, is something called it's something called self-actualization. Becoming okay, I'm trying who to understand, you think you are. I'm trying to understand why let, let, let me tell you some why. men that are right. Uh, okay, so when your woman, to. when your woman in your life is literally the part of your life that will self-actualize you, it's worth any woman in the world. That is when a man is truly faithful. But when, I believe that every man deserves that, but they don't seek that. That's yeah, why Beyonce they be cheating on their bitches. On, on anyway, the I think <laughs> Beyonce I think got cheated rap. on. I'm I done. Think it's okay, a rap. we had 57 yet? with that 10. God it God was damn. real nice to meet you, know you fam. You know this was, was the Robbie we Hollywood could do a show. Part, we could do a part two. This was the Robbie Hollywood show. We could do at least three podcasts at this point. This is a part two. Oh man, part two coming through. So let's wrap this shit up. More of the story. Moral wow. of the story, stay away from Tinder. Wow. See, my girlfriend is going to see this and she's going to be like, what the fuck the whole time that you see, talked about? It, we didn't be... even get to like... <laughs> oh, my God. Like, with everything that and is going on in the news... And the man has a girl. has a girl. No, no, I do. I do. But I'm not blind to life, right? Uh, like, just... You're living oh a different God. life, my Anyways, friend. Oh, guys, wow. this, this but anyway, guys. This was an interesting it was an episode. Wow. <laughs> you that must say. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, this Hannah Cakes show, follow me at this Hannah Cakes, no, it's, it's Hannah Cakes, sorry, and you can listen to this episode, um, on iTunes and SoundCloud, the ignorance is free, you don't know, uh, the Hannah Cakes show, hashtag, and, um, yeah, you can also check the visuals too, if you want to see us on YouTube, the ignorance is free with a Z, you already know, with a Z, and you also follow, um, I'm Robbie Hollywood. This on, philosopher uh, over there, Dr. Uh, Robin Hollywood. I, I, I just have I just have controversial views. Okay, but, Robert. Uh, <laughs> I'm the Canadian Kanye. <laughs> just, uh, okay. And you can follow me. It's S A K on Instagram with a Z. It's S A K. Holla. All right. Share, like, comment. Yarish, no, we out here.